for anyone out there, particularly <clears throat> toward those who are of the household of God, if you consider yourself a believer, this might be the first time you're ever hearing this, and it might contradict what you've heard the preacher say. But here goes. Anyone out there going through your hour of darkness, your hour of despair that's coming from within or sometimes from without, depending on the circumstance, because sometimes you do need help. But especially for relationships and that kind of thing, we'll say especially in regard to relationships. If you're going through a dark hour, a breakup, a new kind of a season that you're just completely unfamiliar with and you don't know how to deal with it, particularly those that come with seasons that involve a breakup, the last thing you want to do is go to your so-called friends when you don't have the wisdom and say, oh, what should I do? You don't go to your so-called friends for wisdom or advice because number one, they will lie to you. Number two, I should say number one, you will lie to them. You, what you will do is you will give them some half-cocked, incomplete story version from your uh, jaded perspective uh, to your buddy. You'll give them your sob story, which is a crock of shit, usually. And and then he'll give his response in, in response to your, your shittery. The last thing you want to do is go to your buddies or any human being, who, any human being who you think is going to be your your guiding light and don't work that way that comes from within if you're searching from without for what you ought to do if it's not god if your holy spirit leading to direct you um <clears throat> you're you're headed for further sin you're headed for further pain perhaps on both sides you're going to prolong more strife, more pain for yourself, more pain for your friends to hear you're bitching over a situation that you could have dealt with in a way that you already knew how you already knew you should have. But here you are. You're wasting your buddy's time now. And um, it's so rhetorical. You guys sound so stupid. You need to take that crap right to the Lord, no matter what it is. And he always, 100% of the time, especially when you keep that crap hidden from other people, especially your stupid buddies, God answers those prayers. Yes, he do. I've seen it. I've seen it in my own life bazillions of times. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, each and every single day, I do see the fruit. I see, oh, yes, I do. You put that Bible truth into practice, it do the wonders that it do. The truth divides. Yes, it do. Um, and you're not going to get that from your buddies. They're not going to tell you God's truth. God's truth is what is going to be the remedy that you're looking for. So you start there. And if you're too scared to read the Bible, pray. God will tell you. You might not like the answer that you get. Because it's going to be a hard thing to make the change. Stay away from your so-called buddies. Look what, look what they did to Job. 